hear the applause starting here. It's going to get very loud, of course. We're surrounded by many of the people who are here to celebrate the IPO of Kava. It is one of the bigger ones we've had in quite some time, certainly at the New York Stock Exchange, with a lot of attention being focused on this Mediterranean fast casual um, that is going, as Jim said, from a regional more to a national player. Certainly plans to use some of the proceeds from this IPO to help fuel that uh, growth phase that it hopes to enter. But a lot of doubters, too, Jim in terms of profitability, in terms of future cash flows, and their ability to actually garner them. Absolutely. Now, Twitter, 63 locations across 22 states, Washington, 2 D.C. 82% are in the suburbs. That's very interesting because, you know, that's a little bit wealthier. Um, uh, and I know that they could show profit they want to. That's a tradition. Uh, like many growth companies, of course, they choose not to. Jim said if they could show profitability, they're investing for future growth. Uh, there was the opening bell. This is the celebration here at the New York Stock Exchange. Again, Kava. We're going to talk to uh, the company's CEO in just a bit, uh, a few minutes. Over at the NASDAQ, by the way, it was Fifth Third Bank Corp celebrating the 165th okay, now that's very interesting anniversary of that bank. Almost every single regional bank has had its numbers cut of late, and a lot of them are saying it's really hard to get a loan. And yet, there's Powell saying, look, it's the, growth, the growth is still a cap. David.